first impression, this game, this game, uh, New Super Mario Brothers U. That's a that's a clever little title we got going there. So the New Super Mario Brothers U, uh, thing. Right off the bat, when I saw this game, it was gonna be one of the launch games. I was like looking through like what game I should get for day one, other than Nintendo Land. Um, I, I was like, fuck, there's really nothing there that stands out, and I, I really want, weird to say, I really want to grab this because my, my dad was like, oh, you should grab a Mario game on there and I'll play with you. Fucking didn't end up doing that, but beside the point, uh, he sort of coaxed me into grabbing this, and I, I, I was looking at it going, uh, you know, I want to play it, but it's not going to be something I'm going to go out of my way to grab. Uh, but I'm glad I grabbed it. I've spent the whole... Out of all the games I've played on my Wii U, out of all three I, I, games I've played on there, I've probably played this one the most. It, it's just a really fun game, and if, if you're one of the people who've complained that, like, Mario, uh, the, the new Super Mario Brothers Wii wasn't really that challenging, or the, the, the gold coin one that just came out on the 3DS, like, a couple months ago wasn't really that challenging... Uh, maybe grab this one, because this one actually offers a little bit of a challenge, uh, offers some new things, the scroll suits in there, where you can do a little bit of a glide, which is, which is interesting. Uh, there's some new enemies in there, uh, Bowser's up to a nefarious scheme as always, but he captures the castle instead of the prince, well he captures the princess and the castle, uh, which is just a Paper Mario thing. Uh, mm. Dry throat, hate talking so much. So, um... Yeah, it, it's a really interesting game, and it does offer challenges, and after you've beaten the game, uh, there's, like, some more challenges you can do, uh, that can, like, challenge your Marioing skills. Uh, so, for a lot of people who are like, man, it's never challenging enough. They try to up the ante in this one. With that said and done, though, I don't think there's enough challenge there to satisfy those who were complaining about it. Because um, you can never really satisfy people who are always complaining about things. Because you, really, you have to understand that when they create this game, they want to make sure not just the hardcore audience can play it, but also the softcore audience can play it. That sounded really weird. Because, you know, people are new kids who have never played... Uh, a Mario game before might be picking this up and you want to at least get them interested in it so that way they can actually explore more of the Mario games themselves as well and I think this is a, uh, probably as good as it's gonna get to that medium level of like uh, challenging uh, where it's easy enough for the newcomers but challenging enough that probably the old comers might not complain as much <laughs> I uh, you know I died a few times, but I mean it's nothing that's like frustrating, challenging like uh, the original Mario Brothers two or whatever. That game is a little bit of a bitch. Um, actually, the more I think about it, Mario games, have never been really challenging. I, I, I just don't really get where the, that comes from. But there there is some challenges in this game. Um, if you were looking at my uh, my first impression for the Wii U, I had said that uh, a lot of the times. I'm I'm more attended. I'm gonna use this my gamepad again. I'm more uh, to look at the gamepad itself than the TV because I I it just feels natural for some reason. Probably because I've been playing my 3DS, which is not over there. Okay, so I don't know. I pointed it over there, but um, so you know you'd be looking at it, and like I said, the colors on the screen are less colorful than they are on the TV, so. You're not getting a really nice crisp picture, but it feels, I don't know, better on the pad for some reason. It, really weird. But, uh, to challenge that, you can play this game using your Wiimotes uh, on their side, so it's all classic Nessie. Um, but overall, as a game, it's really... It, 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 it's a Mario game. What do you expect? Uh, you do things, you jump... It's 2D, it's classic-ish, 
Uh, there's some challenges in there that are actually a little challenging uh, because they have like a challenge mode that's separate from the story than the, the main mode. Uh, anything else I need to mention? Uh, they do take advantage of the Miiverse where there are moments where if you do like certain accomplishments like beating a level in a certain amount of time or like getting all the star coins in level or you know whatever not getting hurt during the whole level you can boast about They'll give you an opportunity to boast about those in the Miiverse. So, like, people can see, like, oh, wow, he did really good in this level. And then not only in the Miiverse will they see it, but uh, if you're connected to the internet, on the actual map, or the world map, you can see uh, people's little boasts and whatnot. Uh, a lot of times they don't really do too many interesting things. Uh, I like drawing stuff, because I like drawing uh, every once in a while. Uh, but, uh, oh, overall, it's a, it's, a, it's a good game, um, it's definitely some, I mean, if you're looking at going, eh, it's going to be Mario, whatever, you might be a little shocked to find you'll enjoy it a lot more than you might expect, but at the same time, this isn't really a game that you're probably going to want to run out and grab, um, on, like, day one, like I said, Nintendo Land's pretty good, if you're looking for that family thing, um, it's a good game. It's it's a good game. It, it does what it's set out to do, and it does it well, which is good. Um, I really don't know what else I want to say. Uh, oh, yeah. I probably should mention some of the other things in this. So, um, another new thing is they have baby Yoshis in here, uh, which do very... Like, Yoshis are still in here, but, I mean, they have baby Yoshis, which I think I've only seen two, and I want to say there is only two, but there's one that spits bubbles. Which, when enemies or shit is captured in it, will turn into either, like, standard power-ups or, like, coins or whatnot. And, um, the other one is a reddish-pink Yoshi, which, um, can fly. Well, it, it boils up into a balloon, and you can fly with it, slash glide with it. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, beyond that, I haven't really tried any of the multiplayer features in this, or, like, the boost mode. Uh... The boost mode's really, it, the boost mode just seems really stupid. I'm, I just want to say that right now. Boost mode looks really stupid, because if you play multiplayer, everyone has to use a Wii mode, but then like one person, the fifth person has to use the gamepad, and they don't really play. They just put blocks down for everyone. That's, it feels like a bit of a cop out. Is is what I'm saying. I mean, like, you have this tablet. And you, you don't really do anything with it in the new Super Mario Bros. U. This new Mario game with the new system, the new tablet. And the only thing they can come up with is someone can just put some blocks down to, so you can do shit. No. No, Nintendo. Uh, basically what I'm saying is next time you do an, a Mario game on the Wii U, do something interesting with the technology that you've made. I mean... There's nothing, like, yes, sure, you gotta make it multiplayer, but why not do something more with it? I mean, you've shown what you can do in Nintendo Land with it by having, like, certain things appear on the screen and and on that thing. Like, why isn't there, like, a level where you're in, like, the ghost house or something, and maybe, like, you, some things aren't seen on that, on the TV screen, but some things are shown on the tablet and vice versa? That would be cool. That would put a challenge to, you know, jumping around and also utilize what you made. <laughs> sorry, I'm just the person who plays the games. I don't actually come up with them, but, um, sorry. I don't, I don't know, it just, this, this game doesn't feel like it really utilizes this new technology they made. And I guess that's one of my biggest complaints, is they don't really utilize it. Uh, I'm not saying, like, you gotta use shake it around or like move it around to do things i'm just saying like something as simple as utilizing more than just like placing blocks down it's it feel like i said it feels like a cop out it really does um i uh, I, I think this is the the only feature it really takes advantage of is the fact that you can play this on the tablet or on the tv that's it <laughs> so Biggest impressions, yeah, 
Mario, it's a good game, but it just, it could have been on the Wii, really. It just, it honestly, could have been on the Wii, uh, which is unfortunate, really. It is unfortunate that it doesn't really take advantage of everything that the Wii really has with the tablet and then the Miiverse, which is still really cool. Uh, so, uh, until next time, keep on gaming.